we listened to our customers, redesigned and developed the CIJ printer from the ground up to meet their needs, to be more reliable, more robust, and faster. Rewriting the rules on coding and marking. Domino has always been an exciting, motivating, and exhilarating place. None more so than in the last two to three years. In those years, we've been planning and then developing our latest industry-leading range of continuous inkjet printers. Together with the investment from our new parent company, we've been able to execute the development of the most exciting product ever from Domino. This product is based on more customer input, both present and future, than ever before, and reflects their feedback in terms of both today's needs and future requirements. In the software team, we have to work very closely with other members of R&D. Working on the AX printer, it's very complicated, any CIJ printer is. We have people who are experts in this area and give us all the information we need so that we can drive the ink system. We've got lots of information about the customers telling us what they like about the printer and what they would like a new printer to be able to do. We gathered all that information and we used that as a basis to build from the ground up a product that can provide all of those needs. As part of the development, we simulated virtual builds, the AX350 and the 550. The whole manufacture and design of it was incorporated very early on to look at how we assembled it. When moving the printer, the previous product was around 33 kilograms. That's a two-man lift. We had the target of reducing it to a one-man lift, 25 kilograms. As part of those sessions, it was looking at connecting parts, how those parts affected our, our assembly. So with the AX350 and 550, the weight has come down to about 22 kilograms. The IP66 rating is key, especially on electronics. Part of the issue is you need a metallic bond all the way around to seal it, and we achieved that by uh, a new approach. We've used a seal which we've named the cat's tongue, because it feels like a cat's tongue, but it's basically a woven wire with a moulded seal material around, which actually enables us to achieve IP66. We've developed the iPulse drop generator. Historically, we've used a drive rod system, which agitates the ink from inside the chamber. But we've moved all the piezo activation to the front, as close to the nozzle plate and drop generator as possible. That improves the quality of drop generation, our print performance and reliability. There's been a lot of pressure over the years to bring down the solvent consumption of printers. So we've developed an internal control system that constantly hunts for the minimum airflow required to clear the gutter. That improves the environmental performance of our printers and reduces the cost of ownership. When we started to work on a project, we started with user interviews. We identified red routes and the key routes that our users used in order to challenge the interface and improve it in the best way. One of the key changes that we implemented was the redesign of the home screen. We focus now on the key routes that our users use. Finding a label and seeing the statuses are more significant. Our users can customise it to their requirements. For the launch of the AX series printers, we have been specifically working on researching and developing inks for food packaging to ensure that we comply with the EUPA regulations and also inks for industrial applications. Our customers require inks that have good reliability, improved shelf life, as well as adhesion to complex surfaces. We have also produced different coloured products, including a yellow ink for use in glass marking and cable and wire applications, and also a white cable ink to support heavy duty printers. We have worked to provide more 9-drop rasters. These give a higher resolution than the previous 7-drop rasters. We've also worked to give an extra line of text so they can get more information into their codes. We use this print wheel to print our rasters at different velocities, so as the customer ramps up the line speed, the charge put on the drops will change to compensate for this. We also make sure that our rasters are robust to different throw distances, so that if the customer has a change in geometry, we don't get a degradation in print quality. For good print quality, you need to have good quality drops. To create good quality drops, you have to understand all of the critical things that form the shape of that drop. One of those is the viscosity. The inks in our systems contain solvent so that when we print a drop, the solvent dries off quickly and the code doesn't rub away. So we've tuned the system to track the viscosity to very tight tolerances. 
Should a system be off for a large period of time and be turned on, we can aggressively thin the ink back to its design target, or, when the ink is very thin, we can quickly get the fluid back to the design parameters to ensure good print quality and clean print heads for our customers. For the X series, we developed a variety of test equipment. One of them is to test the control electronics inside the printer. Additionally, we've developed camera systems which looks at the ink jetting. We've created a system which emulates the production line. This one goes at 5 meters per second, but we've also got a rotary system going up to 18 meters per second. The point of testing at component level, then at system level, is to make the design and a product more reliable and, and robust. Cambridge has seen many scientific innovations, technological developments and new products, and it's highly appropriate that the AX range is launched in a city with such a pedigree. I'd like to thank everybody, customers, suppliers and employees who have been involved in the development of this product launch, and I'm sure in years to come we'll look back on this as a major milestone in the evolution of our company.